Good evening people, welcome back to Greenox RC. Now tonight, it's Judgment Day. <laughs> Been looking forward to this one for a few weeks. We've got the um, my new Turbo Optima. She's now kitted out with electronics. Um, we're going to take her out for a maiden voyage tonight. I'm going to meet Mumu and Taylor up at Tesco's in a little while. And we're going to see what she's what she's got. Uh, hopefully put around the figure of eight and do a time trial. Uh, I think the best lap so far for eight laps of the figure of eight was just under two minutes. So it'll be interesting to see how this one gets on. Now anyone that's watched the previous video on this car would know that we've got a few little hop-ups. Um, we fit with a racing steering setup along with the racing servo saver. We've got some high performance drive shafts and some lightweight aluminium front and rear hubs. We've also got carbon fibre shock towers both front and rear. So um, yeah, I've got high hopes for this. I think she's going to handle quite nice. Um, regarding the electrics, electronics, we're going to be running a uh, 7.4 volt 2S LiPo in this one tonight. Uh, standard TBLE 02 ESC, because that's what I generally run for convenience more than anything. Um, Motor-wise, I'm going for the Superstock RZ by Tamiya. Now, that's a firm favourite of mine for brush motors. Uh, I love that range of motors, but particularly the RZ. It's a very talky motor, very smooth, knocking out about 28,000 RPM. So I know this sort of car would handle a brush this quite easily with the modifications Kyosha have done on the reissue. But it's not what it's about for me, in all honesty. The... Um, these sort of cars back in the day were run on brushed motors and I wanted it to be as close to the sort of specifications that used to be run on in the mid to late 80s. So um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this goes around the track. Hopefully the rain's going to keep off and um, hopefully I'll keep it in one piece. Because that's going to break my heart if I end up crashing into any curves like I normally do and uh, bend that nice shiny chassis. So... <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to load her into the car and go and meet the other guys up at Tesco's and um, be back with you soon. Green Ox RC, signing out. Hello and welcome back. Here we are at Tesco's, the faithful figure of eight. We've got the brand new Turbo Optima, all charged up and ready to go. Now we're going to have a little roo about, see what she's made of, see how she performs, get the old tyres warmed up. Then we're going to go into a figure of eight time trial. As always, we'll do the figure of eight, eight laps, see what sort of times we can post. Now tonight we're going to have Mr Taylor on the camera. Say hello, Taylor. Hello, Taylor. <laughs> and we're going to have Mumu doing lap counting duties. So, unfortunately, we were supposed to have the Hornet and the Grasshopper up here tonight to do similar with them. But due to Taylor's normal disorganisation, he still hasn't got any radio gear or motor yet. So it's going to be just this one for tonight and we'll save the other two for a later date. Anyway, without further ado, let's take her for a spin. Go on, Taylor. Take her away. Let's see how she goes. Maiden voyage. Go. Cut there, James. Gee, where is? 
And across the line. How are we doing? Ooh. Nice. One, go. There we go, back at base. Uh, first run of the Turbo Optima. Not bad, she drives beautifully. I was really happy with that. Although I've got to admit, me figure of eight times could have been better. I was still a bit of a novice to how she handles and I was a bit concerned about flipping her. But um, that's the times, we've done the uh, drag strip, we've done the figure of eight. And next up, we're going to get the grasshopper and the hornet out and see how they fare with a similar motor. So um, watch this space. Thanks for watching, Greenhawks RC, signing out.